Uh, kwa majina ni Festa Serenge, Festa Lumiti Serenge. Nizaliwa Tanzania. Mzee alikuwa anafanya kazi huko. And uh, my early stages, nikiwa mdogo, nilikuwa huko for about 2 3 years. Mzee akuja transfer, akuja Boris. And then alipokuja hapa kwanza si tulipo kwa nyumbani nikaenda nikaenda shule Kamega shule ya Bukulunya primary that's where I started my career at, at class I started at class 3 nilianza ku kuwa actively involved in football and mzee pia kwa kucheza ball so it's just more like a pass over Festa Serenge was born in the family of sportsmen in 1969 and had the genes of a sportsman as well. Serenge started playing in the stellar world of football in the western province of Kenya. The genesis of his football was at Buhulunya Primary School before he transferred to Nairobi Garden Estate Primary School. At Garden Estate, we, it was a school of its own choice in that uh, at the same George Pondo and the and the few guys who are in Nairobi, we also want to nest. Most of us in Nairobi want to go to Nairobi. Now, I think it was one of the best schools in Okatio. The boy of promise studied and played for the Kenya Breweries youth team. When playing in the Kenya Breweries youth team, Coach Elia Dero was his great mentor. He treated him like his own son. When Serenge seemed to concentrate too much on soccer, his dad took him back to Buhulunya Primary School. As a standard seven pupil, he played for Maji FC and Municipal Council, both in Kakamega. After the Kenya schools team clinched the championship in Zambia, they attracted many football lovers, and they got an opportunity to play against the top Zambian club, Mfulira Wanderers. The Kenyan boys lost 2-1, with Henry Nyandoro scoring the lone goal. The late Henry Nyandoro scored a long-range shot in Zambia. He was far ahead of his time and didn't play like a schoolboy. We played the tournament with Kashinda and we were rewarded by Regis at Coleman's. Uh, and that's where he was able to come to the Kalusha Bwale for the first time. And then to meet Kowandi with Kachizanao. So I was able to feel the same thing. Kachizanao, the game was going to be 2 1, I think. I think the second game was going to be 2 1. We appealed to Kafunga. And uh, it was a good exposure outside the country, especially with Kiwadogo Ivo. After primary education, Serenge was admitted at Musingu High School, an undisputed football giant from Western Province. At Musingu, it was inevitable to find extremely gifted football players in the Scorpion squad. He joined the team as a midfielder and as a substitute for Kefa Tasso, another football legend. The competition in the team was very stiff. Some great players in the team that era were Enoch Momanyi, an admired centre-back, Maurice Makomere, an offensive, Jacob Lijodi, a full-back, Julius Were, Shikanganya, goalkeepers the late John Kaboya and George Ambaisi. They all played for Mumia's Sugar FC. Striker Joe Serenge, who was an MCA for Kakamega, played for Motcom and AFC Leopards apart from the Scorpions. Festus Serenge played for Rivertex FC. Kisumu Breweries and Kenya Breweries. The head coach of the Scorpions was Johnstone Mukonyi, assisted by Luke Erambo and John Obura. Both Mukonyi and Obura were industrial education teachers, electricity and power mechanics respectively. Coach Mukonyi had a super ability in scouting talents. The outstanding names that have played for the Musingu Scorpions are evident in his Hawkeye in identifying talent. The principal of the school was the late Nathan Anaswa, nicknamed Bogi Benda, and later became the Honorable MP of Malava. In the year 1985, many key players had left the Scorpions and the coach switched Serenge to defense. He would play comfortably in all positions in defense. The late Alfayo Odongo joined the team alongside Patrick Mutai in 1985. Both were very gifted and would later turn out to be household names at club level and the national team Harambe Stars. The boys from Kenya beat a star-studded Zambian national school team featuring Zambian legends Kenneth Malitoli, Kelvin Mutale, Timothy Mwitwa, Godfrey Kangwa, Moses Masua, Patrick Banda, John Soko, and Robert Watiakeni. 
all of these Zambian stars were victims of the 1993 Gabon air crash except Kenneth Malitoli. When he completed his studies at Musingu High School, Serenge got offers from several football teams to pen down a contract. Mumia Sugar FC, Rivertex FC, Eldoret KCC and Kisumu Posta recommended employment to Serenge through letters. AFC Leopards and Gormahia were ready to sign him to play for the Giants and be awarded a scholarship to study at Railway Training Institute alongside Gaira and Mike Otieno. Serenge opted to join Rivertex FC, who sponsored him to train in mechanical engineering for three years at Mombasa Polytechnic. He would go to study and play for the team when on holiday. Gormahia and AFC Leopards had highly talented and experienced defenders who were already in the national team and the competition for playtime would be stiff for the young Serenge. About eight players from Musingu joined Rivertex FC and the combination was already there. The year 1990 was the most successful for Rivertex. They were the first team outside Nairobi to win the coveted Moy Golden Cup after beating Bata Bullets 2-1 in the finals. Dangerman Alfayo Odongo was voted the most valuable pet most valuable player, MVP in Kenya that season. Rivertex also finished second in the Kenya National Football League. This victory challenged Eldoret KCC, which also won the Moy Golden Cup three years later. Serenge was spotted by Kenya breweries after a brilliant display when playing for Rivertex in an international match. The brewers did not hesitate to sign the gifted defender. Serenge was loaned to Kisumu Breweries for eight months, after which he joined Kenya Breweries in Nairobi together with Shem Nyaberi and the late Kenneth Omundi. So, 94, we, we smashed almost, almost everything for season. And after that's the year, I'll be proud to say, after 16 years, Breweries had never, had never won a league. In the Lufunga, the winning goal, yeah, 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 Shinda League, it was that goal. He won the goal. We were playing against Transcom, and Lufunga had a decisive goal. But a couple of Lufunga, you were in Shinda. We got to the league. We got to the league. We got to the league. We got to around five matches. We played so badly. We got to the league and Scarlet. And we just need one point. Say you're going back to your moja. To keep draw, to make you To keep lose, go on a chua. Was it go on? Either go on, you see, I can't remember. So to Kafunga Transcom, one nil. To Kashinda Lee. To Kakwa, representative of Kenya. Kwa Confederation. Na tuka wacheza pia semi tuka wacheza Headex Super Cup. Habayi lichezo Mombasa. Yo Headex Super Cup also, I would say, yo mwaka tena nada sema nilikuwa na, I think nilikuwa na wakati mzuri. On that time nilikuwa na wakati mzuri. Na, I eventually scored the winning goal again in Mombasa. When I was playing a team from Malindi from Zanzibar. The president the Shinda. Then you Morgan have killed this evil. But it was a successful year, 1994. Come 95, to call the team Very good team. And by it, Likwa, by the most of the players, Likwa. A few of them will come on my leave. Come on, Musa Likwa, Menda, South Africa. Pams alikuwa ameenda kusidi India. I think so. During his playing days at breweries, he was coached by Eli Adero, Jacob Ghost Mule, Tony Barnfield, the late James Abawa Sianga, and Paul Onyera. Serenge admits that some of the toughest opponents locally were Gormahia, which was never a walk in the park. Despite the mighty Gormahia having immensely gifted players, the referees favoured them because of pressure from the fans. William Inganga and James Kayimba of AFC Leopards were a hazard. Kayimba was from Sierra Leone and had switched from the position of defender to striker. 
playing against Mbilinga FC of Gabon in the semi-final of the Africa Cup Winners' Cup in 1994 was very tough. The two teams drew 1-1 in Gabon in the first leg, while Kenya Breweries emerged victors by winning 3-1 in the return leg in Kenya. 84, that's the year we played uh, Matamapembe. Yes, you were you asking me about Matamapembe. I think we had a... You were going to compare to my team Zuri. And it was a very composed team. Uh, to look at my goalkeeper at Tano, and you could not tell Nanya Tashika amongst them. No. Yeah, it was a very stiff competition. Kulikuwa na Belet Kibera, Namdeche, Swalengoi, Kosumule, Onyi. They are all equal, they are equal at par. Na walikuwa ni watu wako, want to chase Asia, want to keep going. Yeah? So yo mwaka, which is a Missouri. Team Niyona ilikuwa team gumu sana kwa yo mwaka. Despite losing to Matema Pembe, Bilinga ilikuwa team gumu. We play them, uko kwa hawa, tuka draw. Waka kuja hapa, tuka wafunga... Ilikuwa tuna ina wa trenini, kama iyo. But it was a... Ilikuwa game ya mvua, hapo nyayo. Motoka kifunga na fili the two goals, I think, if I'm not wrong. Iyo team, ilikuwa na wachezaji. After a match, nine players will end up to Europe. Which is your young Bilinga. Now, Lilia, but I see Kashinda. How could you imagine the Lafunga? Because Okiangalia talent, look at him, you go at him. I call it a season as a commit. But to Lijaribu, to Kafunga, then to Kafka finals, to Kanda, to Kizama Tapendo, and by Nafiki to the Richard Zuri, away. Dok ni kuna maingi risk yasi. Omolo play ni njia yeri alikuwa maleri ya kwaza. Ali chizanda medication. Nati zuri tu kachira tu kwa tu tu. Namde chaka se penalty. Nani alikuwa mgonjo ya kibera. So tuliborudi yapa. I think mindset tu kwa correct. Tuli ndoa funga, tuli ashinda, and then. Ada training ulikuwa naza kujia hapa, you could just feel as there's something wrong with the team. We were bound to lose. Because ulikuwa nisikia muta na kuambia vile tusha, mi na chukua medal, so the veterans, ulikuwa nisima, mi bada game, mi na retire, and you see people are not serious na training, but compared, kulinga na vile tukwa mchisa hile game ya huko. Sikile mta kwa shaji yotua maliza, and everything is over. Kenya Breweries lost 3-0 at Nyayo Stadium to the disbelief and heartbreak of many Kenyans. One of the most successful teams in the DR Congo, AS Villa Club, had their fans rally behind Kenya Breweries in the first leg match against DC Motema Pembe in Zaire. But why did Kenya Breweries lose when they had the greatest advantage? You will know why. After the loss, it took him two weeks to come to terms with the humiliation the coach was overconfident in the return leg. The squad changed a lot. In the away match, Charles Namudeche had stayed put in goal and even saved a penalty. After the 2-2 draw in the first leg in Zaire, Serenge quotes this statement from the media in Zaire. DC Motema Pembe bows out after drawing 2-2. DC Motema Pembe had a game plan. They played like they had two players to mark each one of them. They had the mindset of champions. After two quick goals by the visiting team, Kenya Breweries did not have a game plan to recover. At this point, the team that was better prepared physically, emotionally and psychologically always wins the game. Never the better team. It was a game, it was a Because now, we got to want to emulate Gormaya. But losing at home, it was a pain for Sana. But so happened, we had to accept it. 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 We had to accept
So the fall here, to come the league vizuri, we are right on course until the last, uh, last few matches again. Zika to tour timing. To lose the league to Gurumaya by a, a point, one point. And then we gave in our best. Uh, it was just also at Gurumaya people going to Missouri. Now I think fans are going to push here in Sana. Your man of Kiri will get out of Shinda. This is your task to go on our fans. But we are in quite team and by corner cohesion eh? and consistent. That year, Kenya Breweries won the Kenya National Football League courtesy of a goal by Festus Serenge via a free kick against Transom. He scored close to 10 goals that season. They had a defenders' competition with Sami Pamzo Omolo and Vincent Kwarula. Shem Nyaberi was awarded the Golden Boot. What will you end up Rwanda? But then, Kampuni Sfai will come in Manda Kuleta Shida na Mambo Ochizaji na Fumikazi. Because I was, uh, I was working, uh, I was in the engineering. So, make his home up and go to Cheza. The way most people want to travel overnight. I went to Cheza, 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 I went to Cheza. So, when I went to Cheza, 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 I think we won. And I'm late. The team, ilikuwa na composition nzuri na ilikuwa na depth kwa timu kwa sawa na akacheza vizuri for quite a good time before mule left eh uh, came 1990 90 mchezaji mzuri pia na tuka kumbuka mshinda mali kwa second account remember well smith klein beecham in his promotion campaign introduced the east african headache super cup a football tournament with hefty cash prizes to be competed for by top clubs in the region. Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania football federations were tasked with organizing a domestic version to pick a representative into the East African edition. Headex is a brand of painkilling tablets recommended for headaches, backache, toothaches, relieving fever amongst others. The first edition was played in Mombasa, Kenya in 1994. Kenya Breweries were the Headache Super Cup winners in Kenya, while Malindi from Zanzibar were the champions in Tanzania. Kampala City Council, KCC, was the champion of the Headache Super Cup in Uganda. Kenya Breweries was crowned as the champions after beating Kampala City Council 1-0 and beating Malindi by the same margin. <laughs> ni kwa kicheza sana sana games at home. Uh, na tukawa tuko na na some guys wale tuko walikuwa wame in team. So tuko sasa na napata time ya kucheza. Ili nao wapate time pia kuendeleza team. Eh? And that's where most Kenya took over na aka na akaanza kucheza kwa team regularly. Na aka You also you also did some good job. As a, as a player, and eventually I came to Kaja Kenda Shirishili. Pio Kuna Tonomi Kuzo Shirishili to Shinda, he saw Kombi, that was 84. Not 84, 85. To Chesa Kuraka Shinda. I got to Tonomi Zuri, and Tim Zoko is quite professional. Uh, that's the year I also met uh, one of Africa's most celebrated player, for Jamila. Saint Michel, I think. In those matches, I scored one of the one of the goals. Now, look what I highlight your your goal. You could highlight for some for quite a, a long time. You live from here, Karukat Kati. You live overlap somewhere around here in Kaja, but Dabo, you can hear. So, look what I look what I highlight. So, you 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 you. Your goalie. Uh, so, yes, uh, the journey. You'll come, you'll come, brave. I think we had the ups and downs. Now, 
Ito funza mingi. In the footballing journey. One, lazima mtu kuwe na commitment, na kuwe na passion with what you want to do. Without passion or commitment, then you will not achieve. There are better players who are wala kuna hiyo hiyo commitment na passion eh. Na unapata kitu kama discipline sana sana iliwaangusha wengi. Eh? Hata hata tukitoka chini kuna wale kwa nzuri sana lakini unapata mtu labda msikizi coach ama msikizi wa chaza nyingine unapata career yake inaishia hapo. So na feel in the long run kwa mtu enable to come up ufike mali pazuri lazima usikize wale ambao wanakuelekeza. Yuweza kupata nafasi nzuri ya ku Kenya Breweries was renamed Tusker FC in 1999. While playing for Kenya Breweries, Serenge worked in the workshop as a technician. He played until 2002 when he was retrenched by the company in 2006. He was recalled again after about six months away to do some duty up to 2012. After leaving the brewing company, he was employed by Pepsi Company as a technical operator. He coached Kenafric before they withdrew the football team. As a way of giving back to society, he coaches Rodney Academy and the local teams upcountry. Serenge was fantastic, a great example of a football player. I have the talent and I need to also to give back to the society. I can't do anything with my coaching. I'm proud to say some of the boys were they came up well. Karibu tunje national national hii, but I think also these teams zetu zingine za sasa sasa zina zina rani wana kambu zina rani na hindi, sometimes they don't give in when when you need them more. So ali pona tunenda national, wakazo kutoa kwa sababu juu wakai team kakuwa nishida shida kaka wakai 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 discontinue.